Y'all, it is wash and go time. Today I'm doing a full wash and go with Miel Organics products, specifically the pomegranate line, which is one of my favorite, favorite lines, you guys. So hopefully this will be kind of a quick video. I'm just gonna be doing my hair. Like I said, I have a doctor's appointment at 2.30, so yeah, I really gotta get on it. So I have already washed my hair. I washed my hair today with actually a Myel Organics shampoo, the rice water shampoo. I think that's a collection on its own. But then I followed up with my Olaplex shampoo as well because I have my hair in like a gelled out bun. So yeah, I needed to double cleanse. So I washed my hair and then I followed up with the Olaplex conditioner. I did not deep condition because like I said, I am running a little low on time. So I just, you know, use my Olaplex products and called it a day. And then I followed up with a Olaplex serum because you guys know I am an Olaplex girly. If you know, then you know, okay? But yeah, so basically my hair is a little damp. It's drying up. You can see right here because it's starting to frizz. So I am about to start just wetting down my hair again because I have a better wash and go when my hair is wet. And I'm also gonna take off my ring and watch because can't get nothing done with those on, I feel like. So I'm just wetting down my hair. And my hair naturally falls into a middle part, which I absolutely hate. Like, I love when people wear their hair like with the side part. The curls and the side part just, I feel like it does something. But yeah, it just doesn't work that well for my hair. Just straightening my part a little bit, you guys. I have a widow's peak, um, so that's annoying. It's always really hard for me to get my part straight. It does fall naturally in the middle part, but it's just not always straight. So yeah. I am going to be putting four sections in my hair because I cannot do those wash and goes where people just freaking start applying their product like kudos to you but I have to work in sections so that's what I'm about to do. I'm just sectioning this side because I work in four sections and then I like even go smaller after that. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a little bit. You guys, the sections don't matter. If you're trying to part like really well, don't do it because it really don't matter. <laughs> well, for me, it doesn't matter. So let me just put a little ponytail and y'all, I'm about to be looking crazy with these little ponytails. So don't judge me. All right. I'm doing the other side. And then I also use clips to like separate my hair. So I have these. I feel like these work best for me. So I just do a little clip and yeah, I'm ready to go. So let me tell you about the first product. I'm going in with the leave-in conditioner first. This is the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. It says moisturizing curl primer and detangler for thick curly type four hair. And that's what this is, you guys. I have very thick hair and it says, basically to apply a generous amount to sectioned hair after conditioning. Work the product through with your favorite detangling tool. Do not rinse, leave-in. To style, choose one of the three styling options in the pomegranate and honey collection to create soft to deep definition, which is what we're gonna be doing today, you guys. This stuff is the truth. Well, not just this, but this whole line that I'm about to use is the truth. So yeah, it says our pomegranate and honey collection is a prime plus defined styling system formulated for thick curly type four hair, however perfect for any curl pattern. The pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner is a moisture sealant and cuticle smoother to prime natural curls, creating the optimal foundation for deeper, long lasting curl definition. Whew. So now that I've done all that, I'm just going to wet my hair a little more because I don't rent my mouth 
for quite some time and like I said I need for my hair to be you know dripping so all right so I use a lot of product I'm very generous you guys it looks like this but yeah so I just start applying this to my sections and usually I'll just apply this to my whole head before I do the sections because this part doesn't really matter like I don't need the sections to be small but for the sake of you guys understanding that I'm working in sections I just went ahead and started with that part so and also detangling is so important when I'm using my leave-in because if I don't detangle I don't know I just feel like the wash and go not going to hit, my hair not going to look right, so yeah. I need to be able to run my comb through my section because then I know the product is going to apply like chef's kiss perfectly. So yeah. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? It's running through, it's running through. So I love the way that's looking I'm gonna go ahead and clip and then start working on my back side oh the water is dripping all right so now I'm working on the back side you guys my hair was so tangled before I washed it like I said I had it in a bun gel down um, while we were in Tampa like the last day because like my hair oh my gosh obviously it's Florida obviously it's humid but the first day my hair was like it looked good like I had it down I had it in a nice little cute wash and go but it was soon after that 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 humidity mm -mm, I was done for so the next day I literally was like all right the hair has to go up because it looks a mess like it was just so dry and I just thank God that I don't live in a climate like that because I literally would not know what to do with my hair. Ooh, so yeah, I was just a little bit hurt about that because like I said, I felt like my hair looked good. So I have applied the leave-in to this section. Now I'm taking my ponytails down, adding some more water. All right, leave-in time it is. So, y'all, I really like to coat my hair in this stuff because my hair, my curls can be dry and then it's summertime and yeah, which I'm not really feeling. First of all, I cannot believe that June is about to be over. I don't know when this video is going to be released, but today is, what's the date? Today is June 27th. So, whew, it's really crazy out here. Like the year is freaking halfway over, which means, y'all already know we're about to be back in fall. I cannot wait. And now that I'm in my new house, I'm gonna be decorating for fall. So freaking exciting. And then here's my last freaking side, you guys. Last freaking side for leave-in. I hate these little things. They get caught in my hair, but let's see. This is a small section. Working down. Then making sure I can comb through this. You guys, I had a grand time in Tampa. Um, my husband and I celebrated our first anniversary. So we've been married for a year officially. It's crazy. I feel like time has flown by. But yeah, we had a really good time. A really good time in Tampa. Thankfully, the weather was, although it was freaking hot, humid, it was still good weather. You know what I mean? It was good for Florida because it has been storming like storming hard in the freaking south and so i was kind of like all right it's probably going to storm at least one of the days when we we're down there but it did not look at god it did 
not. So I'm just running my comb through my section again. And it is officially time to start freaking styling, you guys. It's 12.17, my appointment's at 2.30. Okay, <laughs> so let's wet the hair just a little more. And I wanna chat with you guys about the styler that I'm going to be using today. It looks like this, you guys, it's not the custard. I'm so used to using the custard, but this is the maximum hold gel styler the maximum hold gel styler is the perfect multi-purpose gel for natural hair styling used to smooth and set sleek frizz free top knots ponytails and pineapple styles perfect for defining clumping and elongating wash and go styles for maximum control so this stuff is freaking amazing it says apply as needed to dry or wet hair work desired amount through hair and style for wash and go styles rake through hair with fingers do not disturb curls after setting with product air dry or use a diffuser to refresh hair lightly mist hair with water and style as desired so i'm not gonna use this product exactly like the directions but you know it's whatever so I just want to start with really small sections, you guys. It takes a while, so. All right. So for me, this is a good section. I am going to be using this brush just because, like, I feel like it just helps with smoothing. And I also want to make sure that my hair doesn't have too many tangles. I feel like curly hair tangles, but I don't want it to be too freaking tangled. So just put a little. And I feel like I did not show you guys how much I'm using. So let me get another section. Clip her back down. And then, yeah, I know I gotta go in with the water. Let me see, this section is a little bit bigger, so let me take this comb first. Y'all, she's gliding through my hair, like, yes. So, oh, it's a piece of hair. So, hopefully, you guys can see this. This is about how much gel I'm taking on my hair. Just like to glide it through. All right, and then we're gonna take the brush. Oh yeah. I have to go back to work tomorrow because today I'm still on PTO. So I'm just getting my life together. But styling my hair is gonna help me for the rest of the week. It's going to prepare me very well. All righty. So yeah, you guys look, look at the hair. I feel like maybe you can't see it because my shirt's black, but the hair is looking good. I have to be careful because you don't want to really disturb your hair after you put the product on it. So, and y'all, I'm almost done with this section. You guys, it doesn't take long at all. If I, if you could have told me that I could do wash and goes when I first went natural, I would have said you lying. You're really lying because my hair, it just seemed like it wouldn't curl, it wouldn't do nothing. And on top of that, I was a bleach hair curly. Like, I love some bleach. You know, if you've been watching my channel, like even like last year, I feel like, or maybe the year before that. Yeah, I think it was the year before that. I love me some bleach. I think the year before last, my hair was red. And probably some time before that, it was blonde. So, I just, I don't know, it's something about color. It's so cute to me. And if you ask me now, I still think color's cute. It makes, I don't know what it is, but color on natural hair is just so cute to me. But it's so damaging, so unhealthy. So, it's kind of like you have to pick and choose. Do you want to do the colors and all that jazz or 
do you want healthy natural hair and obviously I chose healthy natural hair so I still color my hair though like what I meant to say is I don't bleach my hair like I stay away from the bleach now but I will still dye my hair jet black which I haven't even done that in a while which I don't know why I just feel like I don't know I haven't went to go get my hair dyed jet black in a while but I feel like I should because that gel black be crisp okay it be like real crisp maybe I'll do it this fall or winter I'll do like a jet black refresh I think that'll be freaking cute but yeah anyways I feel like I got off topic but I say all that to say if you're struggling with your natural hair and you just think that it's never going to curl just be patient and y'all please don't skip out on deep conditioning okay you have to deep condition your hair you have to take care of your hair if you're going to a salon and you're getting your hair done and you're like well it looks good for a little bit but then after that it's just not right it's because you're not taking care of it yourself because you don't live with your stylist you don't live with your hairstylist so you've got to do something on your own as well okay you guys see that y'all see the hair like I said, I'm trying not to disturb it, but smoothing it at the same time. So yeah, I'm going to finish applying the rest of the gel in my hair and then I'll be right back, okay? All right, so I am back. I applied gel all over my hair, all the sections, and it's time for the final product. I know you guys are kind of like, your hair is already done. It's not, okay? I have a third product. so. I also use the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Curl Defining Mousse with Hold. Texture mousse for type 4 hair. You guys, this is going to give y'all the extra lock that you need, especially if you have frizzy hair like me. I'm telling y'all, listen to me. You need this product. So just a little bit about this one. It says the pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse with hold is a non-sticky holding mousse that smells amazing and is the perfect hold for type four hair. This mousse is infused with key essential oils such as shea butter, pomegranate, honey, apple, aloe, and jojoba oil for added moisture and hydration. So it says after hair has been cleaned and damp, divide into sections, apply a liberal amount of the pomegranate honey curl defining mousse with hold to hair combing with hold to hair comb or fingering through from root to end. Follow the same pattern in each section of hair until completely done. So basically it's saying use this alone. I don't use this alone, I never have. I need multiple products for my hair to last. So I have already applied this product to the back of my hair. The reason why I applied it to the back of my hair without showing you guys is because typically I'll apply the gel to one section and then use the mousse. So I didn't want my hair to dry without the mousse and I have a lot of hair I wasn't going to be able to get through it that fast so I was like okay I'm just going to go ahead and do the backs but I'll show you guys how I apply it to the fronts of my hair. So I just give it a little shake like so and then apply maybe two pumps for now <laughs> to my hair so I just kind of I'm using this to lock in moisture. And then I'll go to the back as well because the back already has some mousse, but yeah. And it looks like I have too much product in my hair, but you guys, it will dry and soak into the hair for ultimate moisture. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. That was about two pumps and a half, but that's okay. Oh, I just freaking love the way my hair looks after I apply all these products to my hair. And the smell, y'all. These products smell so good. Every time I go to work with these products in my hair, people are like, did you just wash your hair? What you got on? Y'all, it's the products. I'm telling you, they smell so good. But I will say, if you are easily deterred from the smells of products i will go in the store and smell this first because you might not like it like one of my friends was like they didn't really like the smell when i let them open the jar and she's kind of like you're lost <laughs> but i think it smells really good so yeah i have applied the product 
all over my hair and now it's time to wait you guys because I'm gonna show you what it looks like when my hair has dried up a little bit so but before I do that I'm just gonna let you guys see you'll see you can see like the waves and the curls forming and then like oh this is my favorite side of my hair for some reason this side curls 910 percent way better than the other side i don't know why and this side is also longer than this side which is annoying like this side i think because i had a really bad haircut my hair is cut diagonally but this side is anyways it doesn't matter but i'll show you guys what the back is looking like guys i'm back on camera it's about 4 16 so i went i had an appointment and then i got some lunch um so yeah it's pretty late it's been like two-ish hours my hair is about 60 to 70 percent dry i can still feel like a little bit of wetness but yeah these are the almost finalized curls um see you can tell like i have frizzy hair so when you guys saw it at first it was like nice the curls were clumping but at the end of the day my hair doesn't look like that when it's dry okay so that's why i have to put all the products on my hair to weigh it down to create a cast on my hair for me that's very important some people don't like a cast i personally love a cast because that means my hair is going to last for a few days okay if i just use leave-in conditioner in my hair it would look a mess <laughs> so i'm not gonna be doing that so i feel like if you have a texture or pattern similar to mine then this routine will work really well for you it's also very very freaking moisturizing and it's so important to keep your curls moisturized curls natural hair whatever you have you need to keep your hair moisturized that's how you create longer longer strands because your hair is moisturized from the top to the bottom then it's going to keep growing however if your ends for example are not moisturized you're gonna have to cut them boys off <laughs> you are going to have to cut your ends off which you should always get a trim however you shouldn't have to like continuously chop off your hair that means something in your routine is not working so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like i haven't done a hair tutorial in a super long time if you guys want to see more hair videos then comment below also if you made it to the end of this video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys